The Teal College Tomcats visited John F. Wiley Stadium on October 5, 2013 to take on the Waynesburg University Yellow Jackets, which celebrated homecoming. The Jackets were 3-1, while the Tomcats were winless at 0-4. The Yellow Jackets received the opening kickoff and started its first drive at its own 41-yard line. Carter Hill hit Willie Lavelle, who then ran 13 yards for a Jacket first down. Here's Carter Hill rolling to his right after the first down. Has a receiver and it's caught close to the first down marker. Two plays later, the Yellow Jackets scored the first points of the game. First and ten here, ball in the 31, Hill rolling to his left. Throws it, has Lavelle open, Lavelle down to the five, tripped up, able to get inside for the score, and Waynesburg goes up six to nothing early here in the first quarter. And a great leading pass by Carter Hill on that one to Willie Lavelle, running that out pattern there on the sideline. After the extra point by Alex Henry, the home team led seven to nothing with 13.38 left in the opening quarter. After failing to pick up a first down, the Tomcats were forced to punt on its first drive of the contest. Trick play here, the swing gate, 15 on the play clock, and now they'll go into punt formation. As Thompson is standing on his own 32-yard line, Thompson averaging... Taking over on their own 44-yard line, Carter Hill picked up the first down by calling his own number. 10 jackets, makes a hand off the foresight, Hill's going to keep it, jukes a defender, he's got room, he's got the first down and then some, 30, 25, brought down around the 22 yard line, the ball pops up but he's down by contact and Waynesburg with their third first down already in the today's contest. And what a play by Carter Hill as he's getting this offense ready to go for another play, known as a passing quarterback, set the school record earlier this season throwing for 483 yards on a single game, but there he gets it done with his legs. On a third and five, Hill threw a second touchdown in his many drives to put the home team up by two scores, this time to Bernie Thompson. 45% has a receiver on a slant route. Bernie Thompson with the score, 15-yard reception, and the Jackets go up two scores early here in the first quarter. And this offense is clicking. What a diving catch by Bernie Thompson on that one. It's not the first time he's had a huge play for this Waynesburg offense. Made a game-winning catch in the season opener. And the final seconds of that game versus Muskegon does a great job there opening up on that inside slant pattern for Carter Hill. After Henry's second extra point was good, the Orange and Black led 14 to nothing with 11-18 left in the first quarter. Like its first possession of the game, the Teal College Tomcats were forced to punt after failing to pick up a first down. Just as it looked like the visitor defense forced their first punt, Mike Farrar extended the drive. Quick hit has Mike Ferrero across the middle, and that's going to be ruled a catch for eight yards, brought down by Schmidt. However, Waynesburg gets its fourth first down here early on in the game with 8.28 remaining. And another great job on a quick inside pattern by Mike Ferrero there. Got the inside track on Wes Schmidt and was able to make that tough catch under pressure and get the first down. Like the two prior third downs, the Yellow Jacket offense converted on another third down play. Hill looks to his left, has a receiver. That's Danks. Danks with the catch. Goes down around the 12-yard line. Good enough for a first down again. Hill's pass complete. Take Rob Jake Edwards Danks. on the stop for Teal. And another first down here. Waynesburg's seventh of the day. On a third and five, Hill threw a second touchdown in his many drives to put the home team up by two scores, this time to Bernie Thompson. Hill looks to his right, has a receiver wide open in the far end zone. Bernie Thompson once again taps the feet and gets in for another touchdown for Waynesburg. 20 to nothing your score now. Great job by Carter Hill being patient on that one. Went through his progression until he found the open receiver that was in the corner of the end zone. He started out looking left on that play, came back to his right, and had Bernie Thompson wide open in the corner. After Henry's extra point, the Yellow Jackets led 21 to nothing with 514 left in the first quarter. 23. Here's the handoff. And that is Josh Wanamaker, the backup running back, getting the carry. His forward progress is stopped at the Waynesburg 29. Good for Teal's first first down of the day, brought down by Ronnie Skinner and Brandon Fedorka. A few plays later in the drive, the Tomcats quarterback Andrew Smith connected with Baron Group for another first down. Smith draws back the pass, has a receiver open. It's caught, and it's caught by Baron Group. Group running ahead, Skinner eventually brings him down, but not before a first down for Teal. In the same drive, Smith again found an open receiver for a Tomcat first down. Snap, has time, finds Walker right in the middle of a, the Waynesburg coverage. Walker down to the 31-yard line. After crossing into Yellow Jacket territory, 
The orange and black forced a turnover on downs after a fourth down conversion was stopped. Smith in the gun, pressured hard, escapes the tackler. It looks like he's going to run for it. He does. Goes to the sideline. Skinner pushes him out nowhere near the first down. After 15 minutes of play, the Waynesburg University Yellow Jackets led the Teal College Tomcats 21 to nothing. After failing to pick up a third down conversion, Dom Zappa punted for the first time of the contest just seven seconds into the second quarter. Like the Yellow Jackets, the Tomcats were forced to punt after a three and out after only gaining three yards on the three previous plays. Jake Forsythe ran for a Yellow Jacket first down on second and four. Forsythe on the run, rumbles ahead, gets the first down and a couple more yards, pushes all the way to the 28-yard line of Waynesburg. After picking up a first down, the Yellow Jackets were forced to punt, which was followed by a Tomcat punt. On fourth and six, the Yellow Jackets were forced to punt, and the Tomcats had a big return, which could have been bigger if not for Jake Danks. No fair catch signaled. That's Sherrod. Sherrod breaks it across the 50. Brought down by Dinks. Starting inside the Yellow Jacket 50-yard line, Josh Wanamaker helped move the ball closer to the end zone. Smith under center. Two receivers to his left at the bottom of the screen. Hands the ball off to Wanamaker. Wanamaker through the first line, gets to the second level, and then some. Up all the way close to the first down, eventually brought down on the Waynesburg 35. Two plays later, Wanamaker again picked up a Tomcat first down. Receiver goes in motion. Toss play, Wanamaker gets the call again. Stays on his feet, gets a first down, and then some breaking a few tackles. The Tomcats continue their running game, crossing the 10 yard Hunter line. Gets the handoff, the leading rusher for Teal. Rumbles ahead for about nine. With a fourth and one, the Tomcats kept the drive alive after Wanamaker converting. Gets the call, pushes ahead, falls forward, good for a first down. With a second and goal, the Yellow Jackets got a big sack from Josh Tolliver. Smith sends a receiver in motion. That's Fedson. Wanamaker with the play action. Smith in trouble, brought down hard by Josh Tolliver, and a huge sack there for Waynesburg. And as soon as Smith turned around off that play action, Tolliver was in his grill and was not going to let the quarterback get away from that one. Great play defensively. You see, you see off the play action, he turns around and boom, Tolliver is right in his face. Nothing he could do on that one. After a third down stop, the Tomcats brought in his field goal unit to attempt a 29-yard field goal. Ronnie Skinner blocked the field goal just two minutes left in the half. Following the blocked field goal, the Yellow Jackets looked to extend its lead before the half. After a draw on first down, Hill connected to Mike Farrar who fought for a first down. All in the right hash. Hill takes a snap, fires quickly to the right side, has Ferreira, Ferreira starting to get wrapped up there by Hainsworth, eventually pulled out of bounds, stops the clock with the first down with 1.15 remaining. On the next play, Jake Danks did the same with 60 seconds remaining in the half. Hill in the gun, looks to his left, has a receiver open, Danks, Danks catches it around the 35, pushes ahead close to the first down marker, unable to get out of bounds. For the third play in a row, Hill connected to a different receiver for a first down. Looks right, another quick hitter to Thompson in the slot. Following the Bernie Thompson first down catch, Andrew English grabbed the first down as well. Hill in the gun, draws back the pass. Looks left, has English being a defender. He beats Hainsworth. English with the big reception. English again helped the home team pick up another first down two plays later. 27 seconds left to go in the half. Empty set for Hill. Hill looks left, has English. English back out on the field after being bent over on the sidelines. Gets close to the first down. Unfortunately for the Yellow Jackets, a fumble put an end to its hopes of extending the lead before the half. Third and one. Ball in the teal 17. Handoff to Lavelle. Lavelle gets the first down. Breaks the tackle. Down into the 10. Ball comes out. And it looks like it's recovered by Waynesburg. However, the official is already signaling teal football with seven seconds remaining. The teams went into the locker rooms with the Waynesburg University Yellow Jackets leading the Teal College Tomcats 21 to nothing. Alex Henry gets set to kick off the second half. Walker waiting deep. And this one's gonna be fielded at the 15 yard line and up over the 30. And Teal's gonna have some decent field position to start out this second half. The gun, Potter to his right. Pressure might be coming again from Waynesburg. And the only rush forward, Smith, with a good pocket, fires and has his man, Baron Grube, 
up over the 45 yard line and he'll have enough for a first down run out of bounds on that play by Marvin Sampson. And at the half, Teal only one of eight on third down conversions, now two for nine on a day. Taking a look there, Groove with the catch and run. Sampson doing anything he can to bring down the big group. After a six play drive, the visitor offense was forced to punt after a third and eight pass fell incomplete. Waynesburg defense is able to get off the field on a third and long situation, holding Teal scoreless so far. And Teal comes out in the trick play formation and now they'll Look to punt as Cody McClellan awaits the snap. Bernie Thompson awaiting the kick deep at his own 15-yard line. Snap's good, and the kick is away, and a booming punt from McClellan. And Thompson's going to fair catch this one inside the 10-yard line. The Yellow Jacket offense picked up a first down to avoid a fourth down punting situation on a third and one. Two plays later, Willie Lavelle found some room down the sidelines to move the ball near midfield. Still in the gun for this one, takes a snap, looking left, throwing the wheel route downfield to Willie LeVay. He's got it up over the 45, and he stumbles out of bounds at about the 50-yard line. The Tomcat defense forced a punt three plays after the LaVelle first down catch. After the second first down of the drive, the defense would not allow a third first down, thanks to Brandon Fedorka's sack on third and 15, forcing another Tomcat punt. Defensively with any three down linemen. Smith from the gun, takes the snap. Has pressure from Fedorka, and he's going to be brought down from behind. Brandon Fedorka once again making the play for this Waynesburg defense. Fedorka, the leading PAC getter in sacks, getting his fifth and a half sack of the season. Good job being relentless there, tracking down Smith, thrashing him to the ground. With five minutes on the third quarter clock, Hill found a small amount of running room. Hill begins this drive in the gun. Forsyth to his right, first and 10 on Waynesburg's own 32-yard line. Hill takes the snap and rolls to his right. Has a man open downfield, but he's going to tuck it and keep it himself. And he's able to get up over the 35 to about the 37-yard line. Just like the previous second and short, Jake Forsyth rushed for a Yellow Jacket first down. Carter Hill sets up, takes the snap, and hands it off to Forsyth. Evades a couple of defenders and cuts up field over the... 50 to the 45. I think the ball came out late on that play, but he's able to recover it himself. And that's going to be another first down for Waynesburg. A defensive penalty moved the ball from the Teal 44 yard line to its own 29 when Hill connected to Jake Danks inside the Tomcat red zone. Mike Ferraro caught the ball to Teal 4 yard line on the next play. In the gun, Lama to his left. DeGilio also to the left. Takes the snap, rolling left. Lots of protection. Throwing back to the right. Mike Ferraro, the tight end, makes the catch and goes out of bounds at about the four yard line. Two plays later, the drive ended like it started as Carter Hill called his own number. Hill's gonna keep this one on a quarterback run and he's into the end zone for another Waynesburg University touchdown. Alex Henry's extra point was good to extend the Waynesburg University lead to 28 to nothing with 111 left in the third quarter. Following the Yellow Jackets score, Teal brought in backup quarterback Ryan Radkes, whose scramble was short of the lead stick as the third quarter came to an end with the Yellow Jackets leading 28 to nothing. Teal started the fourth quarter with a fake punt on fourth and one to extend their drive. And it's going to be a fake punt as we have a pass out wide, and that's going to be a first down and more for Teal as Tim Kennedy, and they're going to roll him out of bounds back at the 45-yard line, but nonetheless, that's good enough for a first down for Teal. Radke hit Bill Frizzy for a first down after the fake punt for another Tomcat first down. Radke, the freshman quarterback, sets up in the gun. Looking to his right, has a man wide open underneath. And up over the 50, past the Waynesburg 45 and run out of bounds is Bill Frizzy. On the ensuing play, Radke used his legs to pick up a first down to the Jacket 13-yard line. Takes the snap, and this is a quarterback keeper right up the middle. Lots of running room for Radke as he makes a couple of Waynesburg defenders miss. Still on his feet inside the 15, and he's going to be brought down by John Secor from behind on that play, but a great run by Ryan Radke. Radke connected to Frizzy for the Tomcat first points of the contest. Frizzy cutting across the middle, and he's going to get in for a Teal Tomcat touchdown. The Tomcat extra point made the score 28-7 with 13-25 left in the fourth quarter. After the surprise onside kick, which failed to go the required 10 yards, the Yellow Jackets received the ball at the 37-yard line. And he's going to onside kick that one, but it did not go the required 10 yards, and that's going to draw a penalty. 
Facing a third and eight, he'll connect it to Mike Ferrero for a Yellow Jacket first down. Hill takes the snap, looking over the middle, has Ferrero, the big tight end. That's going to be a first down and more for Waynesburg. Jake Danks picked up a first down reception just two plays later. And Hill controls the wide snap. Throwing to his left, has Jake Danks wide open. And he's going to get sandwiched in between a couple of Tomcat defenders. As Following a defensive penalty which moved the ball inside the tail three yard line, Jake Forsythe rushed for a one yard score to push the Jacket lead to 34 to seven with an extra point to follow. Henry's extra point put the Yellow Jackets up 35 to seven with 9.37 left in the fourth quarter. Radke used his legs to pick up some big yards for the Tomcats. Takes a snap here dropping back and he's gonna run once more and has a lot of room on the left side of the field. Cuts up over the 45 and he'll be brought down, tripped up by Mike Lipohovsky on the play, the backup safety for Waynesburg. After a first down pass and a pickup of five, Radke used his legs to pick up another first down rush on third and five. And with the Yellow Jacket penalty, the ball moved to the defensive five yard line. A touchdown pass following the Radke run and penalty trimmed the Jacket lead to 35 to 13. Radke in the gun, Potter to his left, takes the snap, looking left, has a man at the goal line, it's caught. And that's going to be a score for Teal. The Tomcat extra point made the score 35 to 14 with 8.04 left in the fourth quarter. The Yellow Jackets punted on its next possession after a three and out. Radke escaped the rush and ran for a first down on third and four. And Radke going to run once again. And a lot of room down the left sideline. Makes one man miss and he's tackled just inside Waynesburg territory. The Waynesburg offense took over after a turnover on downs by the visiting offense. But the orange and black punted the ball back after another three and out. Radke was able to score a two-yard rushing touchdown with 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter, but it was too little too late as the Waynesburg University Yellow Jackets held on for a 35-20 victory over the Teal College Tomcats.